Hello there, Geminis. Welcome to your love, romance, and relationship reading. Okay, so we've already got some jumpers here. Um, I was telling the other signs. I'm using a different uh, format when I'm doing these love readings. I like to switch things up. It just makes it easier for me every once in a while. So let me talk about these three cards first. First of all, we have here the uh, Page of Swords. Once again, the Page of Swords came out earlier in the general reading. And so it's coming out again here. Um, I feel like, and this is the Four of Cups here. Four of Cups and the World. This entire cluster just screams out to me. There's still a relationship or something that you're trying to figure out from the past, okay? You're not able to let it go. You still feel, um, I feel like some of you feel a little bit slighted. Some of you feel a little bit jilted. Some of you still have unanswered questions that you want accounted for. And I feel like there might have been, you might have reached out to somebody from your past and the response is slow in coming or the response has been very unsatisfying. So either there wasn't communication from them or there wasn't that answer, that closure, that finality that you're looking for. And um, with this energy, it's somebody who is a little bit upset, swinging their swords about, ready to cut. So if that person shows their face, you know, I feel like you're ready to cut. And you're ready to uh, give them a piece of your mind and I feel like this is a situation where because you're stuck in this predicament you're not able to move on okay you're still ruminating still wondering still waiting still idealizing something from the past still engaging in a past energy and all the while you are missing opportunities here with the world where opportunities are coming in abundantly where people are this is a card usually when um, it comes up when I do private readings and it usually means someone who's very very attractive they're physically very appealing to look at they're very um, you know attraction is all relative but I feel like it's somebody who's very beautiful who's very worldly uh, multicultural, multilingual, has a lot going on in their lives, is very talented, is also quite possibly famous. So if we look at everything that you embody, if we look at you know everything that you have in store for you, I feel like if you are engaging in this type of you know not being able to let things go, ruminating and dwelling on what could have been, all the opportunities are kind of wasted okay so the best thing for us to do with this energy is let the past go if there's somebody that hurt you in the past and you're just like i want them to come back i want them to reach out to me so i can give them a piece of my mind um aim to be on the higher vibration of that which is what have i learned from it what lessons am i extracting from it how do i move on how do i not you know make that same mistake but at the same time i feel like relinquishing that person you know just let them go um say a prayer for of forgiveness and then in time you're not going to feel resentful you're going not going to feel like you need to be on the um offense or on the defense you're going to feel it the energy soften up where you wish them happiness, where you can forgive and you can learn from the past and then you can move on rather than keeping yourself very stuck here when new opportunities are kind of knocking at your door. For those of you who are single, like recently single, I feel like this is a lot of opportunities kind of like knocking at your doorstep, okay? But I feel like the opportunities might be a little bit, I want to say, it might not be very deep. So that means opportunities for socializing, for going out, having fun, and even, you know, drinking and things like that. And I feel like it's okay for you to do that. And of course it's okay for us to do that. But at the same time, the emotional connections might not be there. So if you're newly single, you're newly single because you still have some lingering attachment or some resentment from the past, and you're trying to, you know, forget by moving out, by um, by moving on, or trying to move on, posting all these pictures online even. 
I feel like it cheapens the experience. So be very careful, operate more on the higher vibration of this. And I say that because of this page energy, rather than, you know, the knight, the queen, or the king of uh, swords, operating from this space where you want other people to see, um, it's, it's just not going to be good, okay? So I feel there is a right way to do things and there's definitely a wrong way to do things. So I feel like some of you are not ready yet. And if you're not ready, take that time off to be on your own, to ruminate if you need to. But don't dabble in shallow or superficial connections just to have something, okay? And I mentioned before, it's really difficult for dual signs to be on their own. It's very, very difficult. And you and Pisces, you guys are getting the short end of the stick. But um, try your best to, you know, really sit down and figure out what you need to be happy. Because I feel like you're going through the motions, collecting experiences, but none of them are proving to be extraordinary. None of them are proving to be at their essence, at their core, things that can feel liberating to you. So I feel like you have choices, you have options on the table. And I feel as well, um, a lot of interactions here with people that might be different from you, foreigners, okay? And it, it's, it's good. And you definitely should always, you know, be open to that, but make sure that they are real connections, okay? It's, I guess it's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, just make sure there is emotional depth there, not just fun and excitement, because that's going to be, it's not going to be enough for you long term, Gemini's. Okay, so let me talk about water signs. We have here the page of cups okay it's the princess of cups in this deck so it's a little bit confusing but this is the page of cups um the page of cups can be somebody that can be a little bit wishy-washy and i mentioned you know pisces before but this can be a pisces a scorpio or a cancer in the reverse position when i look at this i feel like it's somebody who might be a little bit jealous who needs a lot of attention who uh, does like you know attention seeking types of behavior okay so they they need a lot of attention from you generally and if you're out with your friends you know past midnight they're gonna wonder where you are because I, I do feel there is a, a sense of like a, a little bit of neediness okay and if you're in a relationship with this person I feel almost like the relationship is taken to the next level. There might be proposals, there might be plans about moving in together, there might be, you know, plans about buying property or at least, you know, a, a solidification of a relationship. But I'm also feeling like emotionally, there's definitely a connection here with the Four of Wands, which is something, you know, somebody that you trust, somebody that can be very good for you and the two of you together, it, it looks good with the justice in the reverse position i i feel almost like both parties need to be a lot more self-aware in order to make this work and um as an air sign in general i feel like a lot of the times you might not need the same things that this person needs but they I, I feel like they need a lot more from you they need more stability they need more attention they need more they just need a lot more out of this love relationship. And I feel like you might approach this as, you know, oh, it's fun, it's lighthearted. And if that's the case, you need to be very honest with them because I feel like they might want more, a more serious or a more long-term commitment from you. And at this present moment, if you're just newly dating them, it might feel fun and exciting. But further down the line, do you see the two of you together long-term? Because I feel like, there's some disconnect here and there's some, it's like you're sure now, but are you sure forever and ever? 
because I, it feels to me like they're sure now and they're going to be sure that you're the right person forever and ever. And so there's something about, you know, not meshing here or at least you feel that they're right for right now. And if that's the case, if you're not ready for this, you know, next step, you need to be, I feel like in the future, if you're not ready, you have to communicate that to them and they might not take that, you know, well. So being transparent, being very, very clear with this person is going to be good for you. Um, I'm also feeling as well, um, with the water sign, there's a lot of commitment here. There is this really good energy overall about, you know, the two of you might be very, very different. And um, I feel like some one person has been through a bad relationship, like a bad breakup or a bad um, separation or a bad marriage. So somebody is like, you know, once burned, twice shy. And so if it's the water sign that you're dealing with that has been through a divorce, that has been through a bad breakup, that has been through, you know, separation, they're kind of... Um, they're not looking to play. I feel like they're looking to settle down. They're looking to overcome the bad relationship. And they're hoping that you might be the one to kind of save them from this wreckage, right? And it's not our place to really fix other people. So if you care about them, you need to, you know, just make sure that they're ready. And you also need to communicate as well. You know, it's not my place to fix you. You have to do the work on your own. So I feel like somebody coming out of a bad relationship and looking for something to kind of validate their self-worth in this relationship here. And that's not the best. That's not the best start. OK, so if you've been dating for a long time and you feel like this is the right person, then definitely, by all means, I feel like there's a, a strong connection. But I feel like there are some blockages and there are some challenges in having a, a, a true spiritual union with another person. It might just be a physical union, but it's not true and it's not. It requires a lot more work than I feel like you're prepared for. You might feel like you're ready for it right now, but I feel like there's still a lot more work to be done. OK. So not a good combination. So first of all, we have here, this is the magician, the magician in the reverse position. This is somebody that is um, a lot of talk, very, very little follow through. Okay. This is somebody that hypes up his or her. Um, they, they might be very, very intelligent, but I feel like they're sneaky and they're stealthy. It's linked up here with the Seven of Swords, and the Seven of Swords is stealthy, sneaky type of behavior, wanting to get away with underhanded things, underhanded tactics. And usually, as well, it indicates somebody that might already be in another relationship and they act like they're single. Um, if you guys are out there and you're, you know, in a relationship, you want to be very, very clear and very transparent with your significant other okay and then likewise because you know what goes around comes around um if you're out there dating make sure you ask questions make sure that you know shiny glistening person is not in another relationship because i feel like some of you are swept away by somebody and you might even knowingly um commit yourself or you know get involved with somebody like that because i feel like somebody here is in another relationship and they're behaving like oh we're separated oh we're divorced but that's not really the case so it's lying um lying by omission or just straightforward lying manipulating the situation please be careful for those who are single dating or even if you're in a relationship, just uh, be careful about the truth coming to light, okay? So let me see what advice do they have for you in terms of love, romance, and relationships for Geminis. So 
So Gemini's. This is addiction. Okay, so this is kind of like being in a relationship with somebody where the relationship is not entirely healthy. You might be um, thinking, I'm going to stay with them in the meantime until things get better. Okay, so you're kind of like biding your time, trying to figure out what to do. In the meantime, I feel like a, a relationship is bringing you a lot of stress and strain. And I'm also sensing as well, there's this big element here about public image. It's almost like being stuck, being tethered to another person, needing to always be by their side because of external, you know, social expectations, family expectation, external expectations of you. And you're not really digging that. You're, you know, you, you like your independence to all the air signs do. And I feel like in this situation, um, I'm sensing that it's really, really grating your nerves to have to, to have to fall into this trap or to have to play a certain role just to boost up somebody's, you know, uh, professional image. So it's really, really taxing. And I also feel like it is a major source of concern here. It's a major source of distress. I feel as well with the devil and the temperance card, um, somebody dealing with, you know, possibly alcohol issues, possibly like substance abuse as well. And you're dealing with someone who's very emotionally up and down. You're not supposed to be somebody's savior as well. Okay, Gemini. So if you have this energy or you're dealing with this energy or you're dealing with someone with this energy, it seems to me like the message here, the advice here is this is not something that you need to handle on your own, nor can you handle on your own. So finding the right specialist, therapist, or whatever the situation calls for, the right interventionist, is going to be very crucial to resolve this issue because it feels to me like there's controlled substances. There's also a situation where somebody's under somebody else's whims or, you know, fingers. Um not a good place to be okay so if you are dealing with this please 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 seek some type of outside help and try to make sure that you're in it for the right reason okay because i feel like a specialist yeah it, it seems to me like alcohol a lot of drinking and i also feel like as well with the three of cups this is the kind of like having the same friends running in the same circle so you feel like a lot is at stake if you decide to leave the other person and i'm feeling as well it's like the 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 image the uh, image the professional image the social image the public image that you project is kind of like everything is nice and dandy but behind the scenes it feels very lonely and it feels like somebody is you know, dealing with some substance abuse, and it feels like you're very trapped in this situation. So please try your best to get out of this. Okay, Gemini's, I'm going to leave it at that. I don't like to relay bad news. And uh, once again, I apologize for the delay with your reading. Okay, if you are dealing with this, please get some help. All right. Um, I wish you the best. And um, I wish I could deliver better news. But I feel for those of you who are single, who are single and dating, please don't take things at face value. Just be very, very careful about who you're dealing with. Make sure they're not attached. Make sure they're not, you know, spinning a web of lies and, you know, um, uh, kind of like feeding you a pipe dream. Because I feel like a lot of the times you can be a little bit like nonchalant and a little bit like careless when you get involved. And then things, one thing after another, comes spilling out. And so err on the side of caution. Get to know somebody very well before you choose to get involved with them. Okay, that's going to be the best policy across the board for every sign. But I feel like with you guys, it's like ask first and, you know, like jump in first and ask questions later. So just be careful about that, okay? I wish you the best and I wish you a lot of healing if you are dealing with this, okay? Take care of yourself and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.